we've made I don't want to let go After everything that we have learned It's our time now
need to get my story straight My friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State My lover, she's waiting for me just across the bar My seat's been taken by some sunglasses asking about a scar And I know I gave it to you months ago I know you're trying to forget but between the drinks and subtle things, the holes in my apologies, you know, I'm trying hard to take it back. So if by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight.
breaking heart so long Seems like pain has been my only friend My fragile heart's been done so wrong I wondered if I'd ever heal again Oh, just like all the seasons Never stay the same All around me I can feel the change Oh, I will break these chains that bind me Happiness will find me Leave the past behind me Today my life begins A whole new world is waiting It's my for the taking I know I can make it Today my life begins Yes, the day has come and gone And I've learned how to leave it where it is
close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. There's a house we can build Every room inside is filled With things from far away The special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say we've lost our minds I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we design Thought you loved me, I was wrong 
time I look back on this world, you'll always be a part of who I am. Everything I've known, every seed of greatness you have sown, through good and bad, your love has watched me grow. You teach me right from wrong. Inspire me to be strong. You care in every way. In my heart, you will always stay in this moment. Let me say how I'm grateful every day. You are here to guide my way when I'm lost beside. Turn my little into gold. There's no fear, my dreams are away with you. All that I can be means so much 'cause you believe in me. You show me how to live. As we close up our 19th. Good morning, administrators, staff, parents, family members, and you, class of 2020. It is an absolute honor and genuine pleasure to be your board president this year through it all and celebrate this momentous occasion with you. Class of 2020, you have now reached an important milestone of your lives. Let's go back and travel your path. You have studied and studied and worked hard years and years, and now you have continued and completed your learning through a pandemic that has grabbed hold of the, nearly the entire world. You and your peers have shown tremendous strength, togetherness, and resilience in navigating the greatest of adversities, and I can heartfully tell you, bravo. You have earned this achievement. The personal endurance you have shown will be discussed for several generations after you leave our schools. You have made your mark in the Elizabeth Public Schools and no one can take that away. My warmest congratulations. And now, Class of 2020, I present you to my fellow board members. We are very proud of all of you and this milestone you have achieved today. Remember, the sky is the limit and only you can determine your destiny. Dream big and live your life to the fullest. What's happening in the United States is not okay. We have to stand together. We see you and we know you are destined for greatness. As you continue on to your next chapter, know that we are with you. I know this isn't the kind of graduation you have dreamt of, but this is what will define you. 
You were born during 9-11 and now living through a pandemic. Wow, you are the strong ones. You are tomorrow's fearless leaders. Your dedication during this hard time is the basis of the great and wonderful future for you. Remember, the sky is the limit and we are so proud of you. Remember that it is with strength, compassion, and empathy that you can bring about the change you want to see in the world. It all starts with you. Throughout your you have proved to yourself and to our school community that each and every one of you have a great amount of determination, passion, and success. You achieved this year facing new obstacles and you have succeeded. Today is a very important day for you and your family. In achieving this milestone, you have demonstrated how the most important thing in life are those you work so hard for and that you have the inner strength to overcome anything that may present. Today you stand proud, powerful and accomplished. You have completed an essential step in your life. Remember to always stand for something and stand for truth. It will lead you to your promise. So as I begin to close on these graduation sentiments dedicated to each of you here today, understand that you are your story. Write it, live it, and own it. Stand up tall, class of 2020. You have made history. Now believe in the unbelievable, and above all, continue to dream. You are unique. You are like no other graduating class. You are our graduating class of 2020. God bless you and God bless the Elizabeth Public Schools. Congratulations, class of 2020. 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 Congratulations, class of 2020.
Good evening and welcome to the 2020 commencement ceremony for the Halsey, Admiral William F. Halsey Academy graduation. Oh, no, you're not, you're not here for the celebration? This is a celebration. Good evening, buenas tardes, bonsoir, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to all. We're so happy to be here with you today. And this is a time where they said could not happen. But that time has arrived and it is happening. And you are able to walk, you are able to graduate. So we made it happen, you made it happen, your parents made it happen, your teachers made it happen, and let's make some noise for that. Before we get started with the celebration, I would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to remember all the lives that we've lost during this unprecedented pandemic of COVID-19 and the many lives we've lost, the many black lives we have lost in this nation and throughout the world because of racial injustice. Please stand as we pay a moment of silence to all those who have passed on. Thank you. Please remain standing as we have the Pledge of Allegiance. Please welcome Michael Cotero from the Admiral William F. Halsey Health and Public Safety Academy, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please give him a round of applause as he comes forward. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Michael. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Ethics, which will be led by Lauren Tolentino. I'm sure Lauren is here somewhere.
Lauren Tolentino. If we could have someone stand in her place. Come on up. You said Liz? Bring her up. Oh, I don't know who that is. Bring him up. Come on up. Please put your hands together for Juliana, who has stepped in, for Mr. Torlentino, who could not be here with us this evening. As a member of the Elizabeth Public Schools professional learning community, I will treat people as I wish to be treated. To do that, I pledge to understand that the school community is a special place. Listen respectfully when someone else is speaking by paying close attention and not interrupting. Speak in a calm voice and use proper language. Dress appropriately for teaching and learning. Inspire the best of myself and others by celebrating successes and learning from mistakes. Care about others by demonstrating acts and kindness. Be a lifelong learner by taking every opportunity to learn from others. Thank you. You may be seated. This evening is a very special evening, as I stated before. It was, um, you know, it was said that we couldn't do graduation. And this year was abbreviated, but let not your dreams and hopes be abbreviated. Please press on. Continue to pursue your passions, your dreams, your hopes, your desires, and all your educational goals, and let nothing step in the way of making that happen. You have a lot of people who have been here to celebrate with you, who have celebrated since June, since the last day of school. And if you look to your right and you look to your left, you have some very important people here. And you have your parents. That's your home team. That is the team that has been with you from the very beginning, because you didn't get here by yourself. And at this time, I want you to give them a big round of applause and celebrate them for joining you during this great celebration and this major milestone of your life. We have a number of special guests that could not be here today due to, the, due to the restrictions of social distancing and what we're going through right now, uh, namely our state officials, our county officials, and on behalf of our city council president, President Kevin Canary and the entire city council, they send their congratulatory messages and their best wishes to you, and they salute the class of 2020. But with us today, we do have some special guests that were able to be here. And without further ado, I'd like to recognize them and please give them a round of applause as I cite their names. You have your school board president, Ms. Diane Barbosa. You have your commissioner, Eliana Chavez. Commissioner Nally Hernandez. Commissioner Charlene Bathless. Commissioner Rosa Morena Ortega. Commissioner Stephanie Pisano, who just became a mom and could not be here with us. Vice President Jerry Jacobs, who is ill today, but sends his congratulatory, t congratulatory messages. Commissioner Maria Cavallo. You have your superintendent of schools, Ms. Olga Hugemeyer, your assistant superintendent of schools, Dr. Jennifer Cedeno, your assistant superintendent of schools, Rafael Cortez, your assistant superintendent of schools, Judy Fence Johnson, chief of operations, Frank Cuesta, school business administrator, Harold Kennedy, and your comptroller, Rajiv Maholtra. And here to greet you this evening, let's give them all a big round of applause. Thank you for being here and standing with us today. And here to greet you is none other than a great man who has paved the way for many of you to be here today, many of us to be where we are, and who has been a visionary for this city for many, many years. He is none other than the great honor, honor your great... <laughs> Your honor, your mayor, Mayor Jay Christian Bowich. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. Thank you very much to the graduating class at Admiral Halsey 2020. 
to your parents, to the superintendent of schools, Olga Jugemeyer, Diana Barbosa, the president of the school board, members of the school board, and to all of you. You know, Admiral Halsey's nickname was Bull. So that can go a long way. I try to take it as a way of strength. And if you graduated from Bull Halsey Academy, it means that you were strong. He was a huge naval commander in World War II. And he grew up in Elizabeth and he lived here until he went into the service. And Bull Halsey probably represents that term a lot of you. Because on March 16th, all of you had to leave school and learn online. And it was not something you expected or thought you would finish your high school career by doing it. But yet you had that bullish attitude in order to move forward. You figured out a way to do it online with your teachers, your principal. And so therefore, going forward after today, 2020, you can look at it as being a difficult year and difficult times. But you could also look at it as I'm not going to let the times of 2020 define me moving forward. I'm going to pick a way that I can make myself a better person and I can learn from the problems of 2020, whether it be racial injustice, whether it be the pandemic, whether it be the many, many loss of lives that have occurred. How do you get better? Well, the education that was provided to you here in the Elizabeth system is one of a foundation. So therefore, as the mayor, I ask and I challenge you that you get to define the times going forward. No, not let the time of 2020 define you. On behalf of the entire citizenry, I congratulate you and I wish you Godspeed in your future career and enjoy a very safe summer. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. During this time, we've had a lot of challenges as a Board of Education, and we've had a great leader that has helped to lead us towards these challenges. Not only do we have a great mayor, but we also have a great president, and this young lady that I'm about to introduce to you. And she has made sure that we have been able to keep everything going, and she's been there to support your teachers, your staff, your superintendent and administration. I need you to give a big warm welcome to your president for 2020 of the Elizabeth School Board, President Diane Barbosa. Thank you, everyone. And welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to July 14th, a special day for you and for us because we made it happen. Not even COVID, not even, nothing stopped us. And you're here today. Welcome to our Mayor Bullwidge, to my fellow board members, to the Elizabeth Public School team members, our superintendent, our families, and today's superstars, you, the members of Halsey, graduating class of 2020. And I wanna hear a big hand of, a round of applause for you. Now it's my honor and prev privilege to be your president, especially this year. On behalf of the board, I salute you, the graduates of class of 2020. Oh boy, we reached this day in a way that none of us would have imagined, but we are so fortunate to be here to share this milestone moment together. Now let's move back. More than 100 years ago, the world went in through a pandemic similar to the one we are experiencing today. It infected roughly a third of the world's population. And like you today, there were young adults, oh yes, graduating high school at that time and embarking on a journey of their adult lives in a world of uncertainty, which is what we, we feel that we're embarking today. Walt Disney was, world, was born in the 1900s and he 
became one of the most influential figures. Look at that. Also, Miriam Anderson, born in 1895, would use her legendary singing voice to perform before millions in the effort to break racial barriers in the United States and advance human rights worldwide. So this has happened. Millions of others who were young adults in the 1900s would go and make significant contributions. And I know you can too, to the advancement of of themselves, of their families, their communities, their states, their nations, and to the world, despite the challenges and uncertainty presented by a pandemic. Now it's your turn. Go out and be the best you can, because now you are stronger. Make no mistake, there are difficult days, weeks, months ahead, but as history has shown us, this too shall pass. As graduates, as individuals, as families, as a community, we will get through this time and we will carry on together. And you, my class of 2020, a class like no other, will be right there when it, you begin to tackle and resolve these social, medical, economical issues of our time while leading us back and advancing us to new levels of prominence. And when you do, remember today, and all that has led you to this moment fondly, for it will serve as the foundation to that success. And one more thing, one more note that is the most important thing to me. I want you to remember one more thing. As you stand in front of me, you are perfectly aligned six feet away from each other. Your parents and your family are all distanced perfectly. I stand perfectly in front of you. But guys, graduates, one thing is for sure, the world is not so perfect out there. We've seen it, we live it. But there is one more perfect thing, and that's you. You are our source of perfection. We have planted the seeds in you, so go out and grow. Congratulations, Halsey, class of 2020. Like no other, we salute you, we love you. We will always be here for you. Thank you, President Barbosa. At this time, it's time to salute our champions and our future leaders as we present the valedictorian and the salutatorian medals. I would ask this time that we present and we bring forward that somebody join me here and somebody who's very special to you. He has been the leader of your school and he has led you through this very difficult time. He has led you through some of your many years of high school has been a great advisor to you. He is none other than your principal, Chris Van Vliet. Let's give him a big round of applause. The title of Vladimir Victorian is typically conferred upon the highest ranked student among those graduating from an educational institution. The title of Salutatorian is conferred upon the second highest ranked student among those graduating from an educational institution. I will begin by announcing the Salutatorian for Admiral William F. Halsey, Jr., Health and Public Safety Academy. Please welcome Juliana Casiagiano. This student has demonstrated incredible initiative and a strong dedication towards their academic success and has upheld the second highest grade point average at Admiral William F. Halsby Health and Public Safety Academy. Let's give her another big round of applause. I will now announce the valedictorian for Admin, Admiral William F. Halsey Health and Public Safety Academy. Please help me to welcome Ms. Karen Simbiana. This student has demonstrated incredible initiative and has had a strong dedication towards her academic success and has upheld the highest grade point average at Admiral William F. Halsey Health and Public Safety Academy. Please give her a big round of applause. At this time, it's time to hear from our students. I would like to call back up Juliana Casiangano as she presents her salutatorian 
address. Class of 2020, let me hear you. Much better. We need the energy. I know we're socially distanced, but you know. Greetings, parents, friends, and to Halsey Academy's graduating class of 2020. I am Juliana Caisuano, and I'm this year's class salutatorian. It is my great honor to be able to address you all today. The day is finally here. The day we all hoped for since the beginning of our high school careers. Seeing all of us in our cap and gowns gives me a bittersweet feeling because I know that something ends for us today. But I also know that an amazing journey begins for us wherever our lives take us. We as the class of 2020 are truly one of a kind. Graduating in the midst of a global pandemic, we have gone through hardships that no other class will go through. Spending our quarantine, learning and discovering our many talents within us. Missing out on so many end of the year celebrations, especially as seniors have been disappointing to us all. However, despite this, I know each and every one of us seniors have grown stronger and learned valuable lessons because of it. I know many of us wish to hold on to our high school memories. Look around. We may not know it now, but we are going to miss this. I know I am. Many of us seized and found opportunities that Halsey has given us, that opened doors to our future. I know each of my fellow classmates will do amazing things. It all depends on how you use those opportunities. The hardships we have faced shaped us to the people we are today. We as a class of 2020 are more independent and self-confident than previous generations of students. We don't see diversity as something out of the ordinary but we see it as the norm. We are more open to our change than those before us and seek to find ways to make the world a better place. We find the glory in our obstacles, and I know we can find the glory in this obstacle that we are all living in. I can't thank my parents enough for always supporting me and helping me become the person I am today. I hope I made you proud, and I certainly won't fail you. To my friends, I couldn't be happier to have met you guys. Thank you for all the memories we have shared. I'm extremely proud of you three, Valerie, Denise, and Ashley. But of course, this won't be the end of the road for us. Finally, my advice to you all is this. Don't look back on all the things we never did, but focus on the fun we could never have had, but rather on the opportunities and experiences that await us in our upcoming lives. And for one last time, congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Thank you, Eliana. Juliana. And now for the valedictorian address. Please welcome back Ms. Karen Simbiana. Class of 2020, I gotta call on you again. Good afternoon, family, friends, staff, and fellow graduates. Congrats to the class of 2020. My name is Karen, as you all know, and it's an honor to speak to our soon-to-be graduates. We all accomplish a milestone regardless of the circumstances we are facing. I would like to start by telling you all a little about me and the time that shaped my life forever. I remember when I was eight years old, I just arrived in the U.S. I thought I, would be, I thought it would be extremely difficult to dominate the English language. I was bullied by my friends for having an accent, which pushed me to speak fluent English in less than seven months. This accomplishment amazed everyone, but not me. I knew from the start that the, this is the first thing, I'm, this is the first of many things I am going to accomplish in life. And here I am, graduating as a valedictorian. With this, I want you guys to know nothing in life is easy, and we all have gone through difficult circumstances, 
but with hard work and persistence, everything is possible. Today is the day we start our journey, and many of us split into unique roads. We are all a unique class who will be graduating during a global pandemic. We all have a story to tell as we grow older. As a freshman, I remember looking forward to our graduation ceremony with excitement. Today I look back and appreciate every moment shared, every teacher, school activity, home games, community service events, and every opportunity overall. Although we didn't get to be fully present for all four years and missed out on senior traditions, this pandemic has taught me to be grateful for everyone and everything around me and cherish every moment of my life. Over the years, we have all faced challenges that have inspired us to be where we are today. I would like to talk about one person that has influenced me and inspired my actions. Her name is Sonia Sotomayor. I admire her as a woman and a professional. She lost her father at the age of nine and was diagnosed with type one diabetes when she was seven years old. She was raised by a single mother who made huge sacrifices to provide her siblings with materials to school to help her thrive. This reminds me of the sacrifice my parents did by giving me an education that I know for sure I wasn't able to achieve back in my country, which is why I'm so thankful to be here in front of you guys. And I'm so sad that this will be our last goodbyes and we didn't get to live what a normal senior is, but I'm just glad that I'm standing here in front of you guys and telling you guys that you guys can do anything you want. You guys can achieve anything you guys want. You just have to show persistence and hard work. And last thing, many of us have been, many of us are gonna be first generation students. And I know with it comes uncertainty and fear. So we just have to work hard no matter what. And I know we're all capable of accomplishing astonishing things. Like I said, we must have will and determination to fight through our struggles. There are no limits to as what we could be except the ones you input yourself. It's essential to work and be dedicated with everything. Always remember that you are the person you aspire to be and can achieve anything. Lastly, I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional support and always believing me. I would like to shout out my friends, Carly and Leonor for always sticking by me through thick and thin. Thank you so much, girls. I know we could get so far in life. And a message to my 2020 senior class, always walk with your head held high and never forget where you came from. Wish you guys all the best. Thank you so much, Karen. So we've now gotten to the point of what we've all been waiting for, and that's the presentation of the class of 2020. But before we get there, I just want to leave you with a quick note. And that note would be, what does success look like? Success looks like what you determine it to be. What you decide it's going to look like. Because only you know the desires of your heart, what you want to accomplish, what your goals are, and at the end of the day, what really makes you happy? Because oftentimes we go to school, we go to ed get an education, we go to college, and our parents tell us, get that great job. Get that thing that's going to make you money. But money doesn't always make you happy. Sometimes we have to fulfill our passions and our desires. The thing that makes you jump up in the morning to get up out of bed. You got to discover what your why is. And you guys are charged with a lot of whys. Because in our society today, we're faced with many challenges. And for some of you, that may become your why. In tackling a pandemic, in tackling public health crises like black lives, in understanding that black lives matter, in tackling, in tackling education and how the education system works for you or doesn't work for you, in tackling the job industry, in tackling the economy, in tackling politics and government, in tackling social justice, and issues that may be near and dear to your heart, such as the freedom of speech, your rights, your civil rights, and just the rights of people around the world. That may be your why. That may be what makes you get up in the morning. That may be why you do what you do every day. And that may become your success when you come up with those solutions. 
Is that road going to be easy? No, it's not. And you heard it from all our speakers today. It's not an easy road. Nothing in life is easy. Just getting up in the morning is a challenge, right? Right? Just getting up in the morning is a challenge. So understand the, wrong, the, lo the road ahead is long, but there's tons of hope at the end of that tunnel. Follow your passion, follow your why, follow your desires, and you write your story. So that when you write your story, it becomes the American story. It becomes the American history that we will read about, and you get a chance to tell it. Class of 2020, we congratulate you, we salute you, and we celebrate you today. Let's make some noise for the class of 2020, the best that ever did it. And at this point in time, let us present the class of 2020, and I'd like for the one and only, the assistant superintendent, to come and make the presentation, Dr. Jennifer Cedeno. Thank you, Commissioner Neuron. What an introduction. So good evening, William F. Halsey, Health and Public Safety Academy. How are you this evening? Awesome. So we have come to a point in the program where I get the honor and the privilege to present the class of 2020 to our very own superintendent of schools. So at this time, to confirm your graduation, I would like to welcome to the stage your very own superintendent, Mrs. Olga Hugemeyer. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Dr. Cedeno. Good evening, Mayor Bulwich, fellow board members, staff, parents, and the class of 2020. The global pandemic brought much of the world to a halt. Seniors, you have persevered and demonstrated just how strong, smart, and adaptive you really are. Let's start with resilience. Seniors, you have ended your time at Admiral William F. Halsey Academy, unlike any graduating class before you. Classes, as our mayor shared with you, classes were done virtually and at a distance. Sports were canceled. Student activities and extracurriculars were halted. And yet you persevered. You remained engaged with the learning. Mr. Van Fleet, the vice principals, teachers, guidance counselors, and students have proven that working collaboratively is what makes a school community. This level of resilience that you have shown during your fourth marking period will serve you well as you begin, begin the next chapter of your lives. Seniors, many of you have been working in essential jobs in the community or helping parents by caring for your siblings. We are so incredibly proud of the work that you have done and continue to do. Beginning March, Tuesday, March 17th, and through the rest of your academic careers at Admiral William F. Halsey Academy, you pursued distance learning. It was a new venture for everyone, for students, for administrators, and teachers alike. But together, you adapted. You learned together. You grew, and you finished your senior year. It can't be overstated how important it is to be flexible and adaptable in life. It makes us all prepare to take on future challenges. So at this time, I am very pleased to officially acknowledge the class of 2020. Mr. Van Fleet, principal of William F. Halsey Health and Public Safety Academy, has certified to me that all of the requirements of the Elizabeth Board of Education and the New Jersey Department of Education have been met. And with the authority of the Commissioner of Education, of the state of New Jersey and the members of the Elizabeth Board of Education, I hereby authorize that the appropriate diplomas be awarded. Thank you again and congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs> Mr. Van Fleet. Thank you, Mrs. Hugelmeyer. I'd like to call up at this time our senior class advisor, Dr. Michelle Panici, who will be calling the graduates' names out along with me. Please give her a round of applause. Uh, 
I'd also like to ask for a special round of applause for our uh, Master of Ceremonies at tonight's ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Stanley Naran, for doing such an excellent job. We appreciate it, and thank you all for being here. Where are they? Okay. We're going to start with the top 10. Karen Simbayana. And folks, just some procedural items before we get started. Uh, thank you, Dr. Panici. At this time, when we call your names, please stand. And then we ask that you exit through the same roped area that you came in at, where you will stop and take a picture with your mask on. And we ask that as you're trailing the person in front of you to please remain six feet apart and to practice the social distancing measures that we have in place tonight. From there, you can exit with your family and we're ready to begin again. We'll start with the valedictorian, Dr. Panici. Karen Simbayana. Juliana Casaguana. Carly Ortiz. DeChanel Francis. Catherine Rodas Barras. David Pedraza Hernandez. Ramiro Batista. Denise Mananongsong. Valerie Sancho. Karen Morales. Jesus Abru Rosario. Tainiqua Acosta. Shalant Adolfi. Musilatu Adoy. Graciela Aguiana Chimbrazo. Brandon Aguilera. Maria Aguirre Narajo. Jorge Alcero. Adrian Alcero. Saul Alavante Disla. Ruben Alicia. Ashley Almonte. Gloria Amaya. Camila Anarkulova. Justin Anchula. Michael Anduhar. Brenda Argeta Cruz. Fabrizio Aracha Di Eugenio. Nalita Asian. Marco Ocapina Kempf. Jose Avalos. Izadine Aish. Rochelle Ascona Rosario. Brandon Acevedo. Yadira Baez Ventura. Kariatu Ba. Mohamed Ba. Alexander Barre. Mina Basali. Yesenia Beltran. Ruth Beltre Colado. Valeria Bermudez. Stephanie Bernal Gonzalez. Jocelyn Botanko. Santiago Betancourt. Claudia Blaze. Estania Blanc Doblas. Jacqueline Bonilla Benitez. Luis Brioso Victorino. Luisa Maria Brioso Victorino. Brian Calderas. Pedro Calderon Bacarizo. Jonah Caldwell. David Camargo. Rosa Campaverde Salama. Janiris Caratini. Valentina Cardenas. Oscar Carlock. Ariella Carrillo. Adrian Castro. Julio Castro. Anderly Castro Cepeda. Sheila Cax. Anthony Selly. Wisblon Caesar. Edna Charles. Makisha Charles. Mario Chavez Sanchez. Shania Christian. Blanca Chakri Saguana. Anasia Clark. Telly Claremont. Andrea Collier. Amani Colvin. Sarahi Cordero Ventura. Rosa Corona. Diego Cornell Burgos. Vanessa Correa. Philippe Costa. Brian Crisotomo Ventura. Jose Cruz. Nielis Cruz. Christian Cuertas Franco. Joshua Cuevas Martinez. Nicholas De La Pena Baez. Jason De Leon. Luis Diaz. Jordi Diaz Santiago. Jocelyn Espina. Uriel Estrada Jr. 
David Finego Garcia. Yesenity Figueroa. Nicole Florentino Contreras. Juan Jose Ferranda Bedoya. Joan Frias Rodriguez. Leslie Fuentes. Matthew Galvis. Yanis Garcia. Franklin Gomera Valdez. Daisy Gomez. Andy Gomez Vargas. Jolie Gomez Vargas. Samantha Gonzalez. Katuan Graham. Jacqueline Granillo Ventura. Michelle Guanapatton. Juan Guerrero. Katerin Guevara Serrano. Laser Gutierrez Mendez. Jason Hamilton. April Hernandez. Ciara Hernandez. Genesis Hernandez Malara. Lourdes Herrera. Taishana Hicks. Lamus Hilario. Brian Alberto Hilton Castro. Bryant Cuerta. Trinity Huff Land. Evelyn Intriago Pama. Daniel Iraguay. Paula Jara. Billstead Jean. Jensley Jean. Rodley Jean. Kelly Jimenez. Isaiah Knight. Princess Comohendo. Zenaida Lamar. Rashawn Lawrence. Gary Laurie Jr. Ashanti Lewis. Jasmine Levasaka. Mark Lopez. Jose Lopez Amaya. Miguel Lopez Enamorado. Aldo Lopez Guevara. Sahira Lopez Rodriguez. Cristina Lorenco. Andrea Lumbi. Haber Rodiaga Ponce. Lisette Marcillo Ramirez. Beatriz Martinez. Liliana Martinez. Maria Martinez. Karen Matute. Kinesia McLean. James McDowell. Hector Mejia. Jean Mejia Gonzalez. Aliyah Miller. Anaralis Mims. Kevin Miranda. Kaylin Miranda Latouri. Jose Montana Guardardo. Amy Morales. Armin Moran. Edwin Moreno Martinez. Rebecca Mora. Engel Mota Antonio. Marilyn Moya Campos. Genesis Moya Rivera. Brandon Munoz. Camilo Munoz. Lenore Navas Gonzalez. Brianna Normil. Rosa Nunez Santiago. Amada Nunez Torabilio. Sheila Amwenga. Precious Ayinya. Sidia Orellana Romera. Carly Ortiz. Emmanuel Ortiz. Okay. Emmanuel. Jose Ortiz. LaShawn Ortiz Rivera. Andrea Pachas. Jean Pierre Paloma Manzan. John Pastuizaka. Ricky Penafal. Francisco Peralta. Vandy Peralta Moda. Asheni Perez. Enrique Perez. 
Kenneth Perez. Stalin Perez Herrera. Martha Pezo Mendoza. Anthony Pele Canwasa. Yameli Pinke. Brian Pindo Guasaka. Derek Portillo. Ariana Prado. Abdullah Kayam. Kayla Quingon. Nicole Quizada. Maybert Quintanilla Rivera. Justin Quintero. Michael Quintero. Nathan Quispy. My Essence Reagan. Brandon Ramirez. Ashley Ramirez Navas. Sophie Ramos Agondo. Damana Rashid. Marina Rashid. Miguel Reyes. Stephanie Reyes. Hector Reyes Cardosa. Merlin Reyes Villalta. Kimberly Rivera. Angelica Rivera Rivas. Michelle Roa. Gina Rocca. Catherine Rodas. Ashley Rodriguez. Liliana Rodriguez. Martin Rodriguez. Jason Rodriguez. Kimberly Rodriguez Chacon. Genesis Garcia. Carla Rojas. Christina Rojas. Norma Romero. Diana Romero Guzman. Jordani Rosa Rodriguez. Brian Salcedo. Karen Salzadis Teodoro.
Andrea Sanchez. Jonathan Santos. Gianna Schmezmel. Elise Selby. Joseph Spelvuda. Ashanti Sesums Epps. Tatiana Sharp. Anna Silva. Brianna Silva. David Silva. Giovanna Silva Xavier. Nicole Sinistera. Jasmine Johanna Serrano Garcia. Island Solano Tercios. Daniel Soto Silva. Jadon Taylor. Juliana Teitelbaum. Nydia Tito. Lauren Tolentino. Kevin Torres. Angie Torres Fonseca. Florence Tordo. Michelle Toxie. Andrea Trujillo. Abdul Tucker. Edwin Araya Odor. Amy Valerio. Wilbur Valadares. Vanessa Vallejo. See ya. Alicia Vanderhall. Warlin Vargas. Chris Mel Vargas Tavares. Marlene Vargas Camacho. Magali Anahi Vasquez Molina. Crystal Velasquez. Brianna Vickers. Natalie Vientos Variella. Joanna Villalba. 
Angie Villanueva Human. Isaiah Warner. Laura Yepes. Marcos Zambrano Chiraboga. Melanie Zalata. Lamar Zaledin Picado. And Jamie Alvarez. Congratulations to the Halsey class of 2020. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Awesome job, Thank you so much. I will, I'll take that. Yep.